So we're on lesson 10-3. Remember, we've done the guided practice in class, so we're going to head straight to the independent practice. So here, I'm multiplying. And remember, I can always write my whole numbers as a fraction, and then I multiply my numerators together. 4 times 1 is 4. My denominators together is 3, so 4 and a third. And then how do I simplify that? Well, I can pull out one whole, and then I would do my numerator minus my denominator. My numerator minus my denominator. So 4 minus 3 is 1, so I'd have one piece left over out of 3. My next one, I multiply my numerators together. So 6 times 3 is 18, and then my denominators, 1 times 8 is 8. I can also do this, just multiply my whole number times my numerator. And then what do I have? Well, I have two groups, and then I would have two left over. So here, remember, I'm counting by 8s. 8, 16, 24. I have 16 here, but I have 18 pieces. So then I would have 18 minus 16 is that 2. And then I can simplify this because, remember, I can divide my numerator by 2 and my denominator by 2 because they are both even numbers. So my final answer is 2 and 1 fourth. For number 9, I'm going to multiply my whole number times my numerator. So that is 16, and my denominator is 5. And here what I have is I need to figure out how many groups of 5 I have. So 16 divided by 5 is 3, with a leftover of 1. So I have 3 wholes, and then I have 1 piece left over out of 5 pieces that I need to make a whole. So 3 and 1 fifth. For number 12, I multiply my whole number times my numerator is 60, denominator is 6, and this one's easy. I know if I have 60, that means 60 divided by 6 is 10, so I have 10 wholes. Over here, I multiply my whole number times my numerator, which is 22, and then I have 3. So now I figured out what is 22 divided by 3. So that is going to be 7 groups. Thank you, buddy. Yep. 7 times 3 is 21. And then I have one left over. So I have, oops, not that many holes. I have seven holes. And then I have one left over out of three. Remember that denominator is how many pieces we have to make a hole. Over here, I'm going to multiply my whole number times my numerator is 35 over eight. And then I need to figure out what is 35 divided by eight. Well, that is going to be four holes. And then I would have three left over. So I have three pieces out of eight to make a whole. For number 13, I multiply, again, my whole number times my numerator. So 7 times 3 is 21 over 4. Then I need to figure out how many holes I have if I have 21 pieces. So 4 goes into 21 five times. And then I'll have one left over. So I have five holes with one left over, one for my remainder, And I need four pieces to make a hole. This one, I have 9 times 3 is 27 over 5. And now I need to figure out how many pieces I need to make a whole. So if I have 27 over 5, remember I can always think of this fraction bar as a division sign. 5 goes into 27 5 times, and I'll have 2 left over for my remainder. So I have 5 holes, 2 left over for my remainder, and then I have 5 for my denominator. My last one is 4 times 5 is 20 over 8. And this one, before I even figure it out, I notice that I can divide it. I can simplify it. So I'm going to do that so I have an even smaller problem. I know I can divide 20 by 4 and 8 by 4 because 4 is a factor of both. So that will be 5 halves. And now that's easy because I know 5 divided by 2 is 2 wholes with 1 left over. So my final answer is 2 and 1 half. For number 16, we have calculated distance Mary runs in one week if she runs 7 eighths of a mile each day. So remember, multiplication is always group size, or number of groups, times my size. So here, one week is 7 days. So I have 7 groups times 7 eighths. So 7 times 7 is 49 over 8. And I know 49 divided by 8 is 6 groups with one left over. So I have six holes with one left over, and again, I need eight pieces to make a hole. So my final answer is six and one eighth. For number 17, we have calculate length of five pieces of ribbon. So five is my groups. 
I have five groups times two thirds of a yard. So that's my size. So I have 10 thirds and then 10 divided by three. I have three left over with, I'm sorry, I have three whole groups with one left over. So I have one piece out of three. Heading on to our next one, which is the back side. Number 18, a baseball team bought eight boxes of baseballs. The team spent a total of 1,696 was the cost of one ball. So here I have a large number. It's broken up into eight pieces, th two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This whole thing is equal to 1,696. So that's a division problem. When I go from something large to something small. So I have 1696 divided by eight. Eight goes into 16 two times. Multiply, subtract, bring down. Eight goes into nine one time. Multiply, subtract, bring down. Eight goes into 16 two times. Multiply, subtract, bring down. One box costs $212. For number 19, Oscar wants to make four chicken pot pies. The recipe calls for two-thirds a pound of potatoes. How many pounds will he need? Well, remember, this is multiplication because I'm going from groups to equal sizes. So here I have four groups times two-thirds. So four times two is equal to eight over three. And then I need to rename that. Three divided, or eight divided by three is two whole groups with two left over. So I'm going to need two and two-thirds. Remember. That remainder is the pieces you have. Number 20, it takes Mario one-fourth of an hour to mow Mrs. Harris's lawn. It takes three times as long to mow Mrs. Carr's lawn. How long does it take to Mario to mow Mrs. Carr's lawn? Write your answer as a fraction of an hour than as minutes. So here we have group size. We have three times as long of one-fourth. So here three times four, or three times one is three. Denominator is four. So it's going to take three-fourths of an hour but now it says I need to write it as minutes. Well, here I have 60 minutes is an hour, and I need to figure out what three-fourths of that is. A lot of the times in math, when we hear the word of, what is three-fourths of 60? That is multiplication. So here I have three times 60 is 18, and I add that zero back on, divided by four. And here I have 180 divided by four is going to go in how many times? It's going to go in four times, multiply, subtract, bring down, four goes into 20, five times, multiply, subtract, bring down. So it's going to be 45 minutes. If you're really thinking though, we didn't even have to do that division. We know that a fourth of an hour from this little person down here is 15 minutes and we have three fourths. So we have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, which is 15 plus 15 plus 15, which equals 45, which is what we had from the other way we did it as well. All right, here we have used numerator, denominator, and whole number. When you multiply a fraction by a whole number, the blank in the product is the same as the denominator of the fraction. The blank in the product is the product of the blank and the numerator of the fraction. So here we have those three, and we have when you multiply a fraction by a whole number. So I'm gonna write a fraction by a whole number out so we have an example to look at. The blank in the product, so remember product is the answer, is the same as the denominator in the fraction. So here we have what? Well we see it's going to be the same. So the denominator in the product, so the denominator in the answer is the same as the denominator in the fraction. The blank in the product is the product of the blank and the whole number. So here we have the answer is made from what and the numerator. So what do I need to multiply to get our answer? So this is going to be the whole number. Because it's asking for what? The blank. It's asking for the numerator. So the numerator in the product is the product or the answer from the whole number times our numerator. Heading off to 22. Malik swims 9 tenths of a mile each day. How many miles will we swim in eight days? So again, we have groups times size. So we have eight groups times the size, which is 9 tenths. So we have 72 over 10. And I know if I have 72, I have seven holes, and then I'd have two left over because 72 minus 70 is two. And I know I can divide it and simplify it by two halves. So my final answer is seven and one fifth. Heading on to number 23. 
Sam is making seven fruit tarts. Each tart needs three fifths a cup of strawberries and one fourth a cup of blueberries. What's the total amount of fruit that Sam needs for his tarts? Well, here we're making seven. We're making seven groups times the size. Well, we have one fourth we need, but we also need that three fourths. So together, this is how much fruit I need. And we'll notice together that equals what? This equals one whole. One fourth plus three fourths is one whole. So I have seven times one equals seven. So I'll need seven cups for my fruit tarts. Number 24, Sean is making picture frames. Each frame uses four-fifths of the yard of wood. What is the total length of wood Sean will need to make 12 frames? Use each of the numbers from the box once to complete and solve the equation. So here, how do we make our answer? Well, we're multiplying it by 12, because remember, I always multiply my whole number times my fraction. So now I need to figure out what is 12 times four? Well, 12 times four is 48. And look, I have those numbers to answer with as well. So now it says what's left. Well, without even doing it, I can answer and say it's 3. But I'm going to check. I know 48 is being divided by 5, because remember that fraction bar. We'll go in 9 times. 45 times 5 is 45 with a leftover of 3. Remember that remainder is always my numerator. So my answers check out, and I used each one one time. Ellen is making plant boxes. Each box uses 3 six a yard of wood. What is the total length of wood Ellen will need to make seven planter boxes? Again, so I multiply my top numbers, so seven times three is 21, but I notice something here. Use each of the numbers from the box only once to complete it. I can't fit 21 here because those are two separate numbers. So it must be having me do it the other way. So what do I have for an idea? Hmm, so I'm kind of stuck. So I'm going to solve what the answer is and then work backwards from there. What I do know, though, is I do know this denominator is a 6 because I notice it's the same for all of them. So I have at least used my process of elimination. So let's do 7 times 3, 6, and see if we can work backwards. 7 times 3 is 21 over 6. And so now how many times does 21 go into 6? Well, it's going to go in 3 times. Multiply and subtract. I have leftover of 3. So my answer is 3, remainder 3. So I have three whole groups. So I know 3 goes in that box. And look, just to make sure I had it correct, I have that answer there. So now I need to figure out, how did I get these other numbers here? Well, I'll notice they broke this 7 up straight in here. So when I said 21, I was jumping the gun, and I was thinking of these boxes over here. So remember, we're doing it step by step. And now my answer looks like it matches. All right, that's it for this one. We'll see you on our next